What's up everyone, how you all doing? Blue Nerd here and welcome back my friends to another Minecraft tutorial. I sure hope you guys are having an awesome day. Now guys, before we get started, I just want to say a huge thank you for all of the love and support in the last video. You guys went crazy in the comments uh, with all of your feedback and stuff. So thank you guys so much. It really does mean the world to me. And before you guys ask, don't worry, this series isn't going to be going anywhere. I've got so many ideas right now, I feel like my head's going to explode. So I've got tons more builds to come, guys. So don't worry about that. Um, but with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at what we're going to be building today. So I come up with another new design for today's build guys and I've gone ahead and used some stripped oak and stripped birch in the little front sticky out bits here where the windows are and I've got to say I really like the way that it looks with the white one there and then the change into the kind of slightly brown look I think it looks really nice and I don't know it just feels really fitting. Now if we move back a little bit here guys you can see this one is just behind where we built last episode where we've done this little warehouse down at the bottom here. So we're just building up on this little area up here. And yeah, I think this, this build's really nice. Now if we come around the side here, we've got a bit of a balcony and an overhang and a nice open window, which I really like the look of. Uh, the same around this corner here. And yeah, overall, I think this build has turned out really cool. So we're going to do the tutorial, guys. But before we jump on with that, let's take a look at what we're going to need to build this. Okay, for this build, you're going to need some polished andesite, some chiseled stone bricks. Bearing in mind, guys, that my chiseled stone bricks will look like this pillar here. As they pile up, you can see they kind of just turn into like a pillar. Okay, if you don't have that, then I would suggest just going ahead and using some polished andesite or just some stone bricks in a pile. Okay, so just go with that if you don't have anything like this in your texture pack or if you ain't using this texture pack. We're also going to need some stone bricks, stone brick stairs and slabs some oak logs, spruce planks, stairs, slabs, fences, trapdoors and buttons. We're going to be using some stone bricks, some stripped birch wood and some stripped oak wood. Some glass blocks and glass panes. I'm going with the white stained versions, uh, but guys, you can go with any version that you want for your windows. It's entirely up to you. We're also going to be using some oak planks and stairs. Now I'm going to be using these lanterns here, but this is actually my end rod texture, it's just been customised. And then a bunch of flowers and some bushes of your choice. And with that being said guys, let's get straight on with the build. Okay guys, if you've been following along in the series so far, then we're going to start building over here on this corner here. Okay, This is where we're going to start building up on this little landing. Now if you haven't been following along and you haven't been building along with us, you could go ahead and just build this on the ground. You would just uh, just ignore the balcony at the side here. But if you want to have a little balcony like we have, I would just suggest that you build it somewhere near a little cliff like, uh, like something like this. You could just go and flatten a bit of land or something like this, okay? And then you could just create the balcony to overhang at the edge. Alright, so first things first, we're going to come over to this little pillar just here. We're going to break this pillar. We're going to break all of these blocks across the top here to the corner. Okay, making sure we keep them ones that are on the ground level there. And then at the back here, we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 blocks across. Okay, so clear 11 blocks across like so. Now, once you've got that done, we're going to grab our polished andesite. And again, you could also use stone bricks here if you wanted to, guys. It's entirely up to you. And we're going to go one, two, three, and we're going to leave it at three. This side here, we're going to go one, two, and three. And if you wanted to, you could just join them across the center here, or you could go ahead and use stone bricks like this. Um, it really doesn't matter. It's entirely your choice. Now, coming down the back behind this block here, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then on the 12th one there, we're going to go ahead and break that. Uh, place a polished andesite block there, rather. Okay. So just double check that. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So there's 11 block gaps between that. Now, back to where the first pillar is here, guys. We're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then we're going to break... That one and then that one, okay? Leaving a one block gap between all of them. Then we're going to go to the left and down towards us by one. So we're diagonally across. So we've got that one on the corner. Then we're going to go two, 
3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Then behind this block, we're going to go another 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, making this 7 in total. And then all we got to do is join this one here all the way across the back. Until we meet with this pillar here. Now again, guys, like we've done with those corners over there, if you want, you could put a polished andesite one on the corner. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and put two more on top of that on the corner and two more on top of that corner. Now we're going to go ahead and just put two more layers in here, raising it to three blocks in total. We're also going to do this wall, that wall, the wall over there and the wall over there. Just add another two layers on top. Okay. Okay, when we get back over here, guys, you can go ahead and place two upside down stairs in these gaps here, okay? Now, you can have two separate doors like this, or you could just go ahead and fill something like this, and then break out a two gap like this for a door, having two upside down stairs here. Um, but I quite like the idea of having two separate doors like that and a pillar in the center. I think it just looks a little bit nicer. So we should have something that looks a bit like that. Now, once you've done that, guys, we're going to go around to this side here and we're going to work on the little balcony that overhangs here. So we're going to start by just breaking this slab here. OK, and we've got to bear in mind that this is the ground level where the chiseled stone is. OK, so we're going to get ourselves a stone slab. Go ahead and break the little lantern there as well. And underneath the, um, the chiseled stone there, we're going to place a slab on this one block in. We're going to run it all the way down. Now, once we get to the edge of our build here, we're going to go five more blocks. So one, two, three, four, and five, okay? And then just break anything that's in your way here for grass, okay? Clear a bit of room. Then we're going to go one, two, okay? Bring this out by another two like this and just run it all the way down, making sure you don't pile on top of each other. Bring it all the way down here to where you were and then back again. Just like that. Then go ahead, get your um, your spruce stairs. And actually, no, we're not going to get the spruce stairs. What we're going to do is we'll put our pillars in first. So the pillars are going to go. We're going to get ourselves our polished andesite. And from the corner here, from this, from this block here, we're going to go one, two, three. Place one on the fourth block. Okay. And then also, while we're here, we're going to break all of these here and we're going to bring up the polished andesite like so. And go ahead and break this pillar here. Break the stone and then just bring the polished andesite down as well. Just so it looks slightly separated from the wall. OK, that's all this to do so slight, to slightly separate it. Now, from this pillar here, going across the back here, we're going to leave a two block gap and go one two three four five and six and that should be in line with the very end pillar just here okay now there's a two block gap between all of these and then a three block gap on this side here now i'm gonna get the chiseled uh, chiseled stone bricks and like i said guys if yours don't pillar like this and do this pillar then go ahead and maybe use some stone bricks for this okay because it'll look a little bit funny otherwise and you want to raise it up until you are two blocks, two block blocks above this slab. Okay, do the same here. One and two. Okay. So in total, that'd be one, two, three, four, five blocks in total. So you should have something that looks like this. Now, on top of all of these slabs, we're going to go ahead and put in some normal bricks like this. Okay, making sure that you only cover on top of them. Once you've done that, get your uh, get your stairs. 
and then place them upside down across the edge of them stone bricks in the gaps in these gaps down here as well all the way to the end and then when you get here just go ahead and place three more in that little gap there then we can go ahead and break one two three four five across here including that blockers there and go ahead and break these out here and what you can just do is go ahead and break out a pathway all the way up here all the way to the end where the house of the end of the house to here even this one and then bring it all the way down here okay and then just clear out this center piece and then go ahead and fill it with your uh with your bricks Okay, and once you're done, you have something that looks a bit like this. Now, just go ahead and break that one out as well. And what you can do down here, what I would suggest doing is because if you're using my texture pack, if you place down bricks, you're going to get the connected texture down the side here, which doesn't look that great. So what we want to do is put upside down stairs across this edge here or slabs, just so those textures don't connect. And bring it all the way to the end of the stairs right there. At the end, we're just going to place a block there like that. Now down here, we're going to repeat the pattern that we have on the other sides over here with the um, blocks. So you want to place a stone bricks block every third block, okay, with a two block gap in the center. We should have enough to just about fit in perfect. Okay, let's do it from this side. So one, two like that, and then two, two, two block gap two block gap two block gap two block gap and then we need to go one further to there okay so let's just go ahead and put an upside down stair there and then we could just put in some stone bricks one past like that okay and that's looking pretty good now on top of these go ahead and place a stone brick slab Now, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to grab the stone slab as well. Uh, one thing I actually forgot to mention in the um, in all of the items needed. And what we're going to do is just join them like this in the center. The top half of the blocks, you want to just bring it across like this, okay? Do that all the way down this side. And there you go. You've got a nice little walkway at the side here. At the end here, we're going to go ahead and put a stone slab on the tops of these andesite blocks here now guys if your stone slab doesn't match your whatever you whatever you're using as your pillar here then go ahead and maybe use stone brick slab um, you just use any block that kind of matches okay and then we're just going to put it across the top half of these blocks here in these gaps to create a kind of banister around the edge of this build on the balcony okay so we have something that looks kind of like that and I think that's looking pretty good. Now, we're going to get back to the actual build itself. Now, at this point, guys, you probably want to go ahead and get yourself some wood of your choice. I'm going to go with spruce wood. And go ahead and just put a flooring down inside here. All right, run it all the way around your edges and just fill all of this in with any flooring of your choice. All right, guys, once you're done, you have something that looks like this on the inside. So you should have all your flooring all in place. Now, let's start working up our levels. So first of all, let's go ahead and place a oak log on all of the corners of the house like this, facing upwards. Do this on all of the corners. Okay, and then we're going to come on this little corner on the inside here. We're going to just bring a pillar up and make it one higher than the wall like this. And then we're going to just literally join our pillars together like this, running the logs all the way across the edge.
Okay, once that's done, guys, we're going to start making where we're going to put our, our peaks of our roofs. So first of all, we're going to have one on this edge here, okay, sticking out from the wall here. So place a log sticking out of that and then place one behind like this, okay, so that it looks like a flush kind of uh, pillar. Now, over here, on this little indented corner here, we're going to leave a one block gap, place one there, leave a three block gap, and then place another one that's sticking out there. Then we're going to leave a one block gap, place one there, and then we're going to place one on the corner here, leaving a three block gap between here. Very important that we have a three block gap between these two and these two. Then round to this side, we're going to place one on this corner, one on this corner. Then round this side, we're going to place one on this corner, leave a three block gap and place one there. Then we're going to go down to this corner, place one here, leave a five block gap and place one here, which should be straight in line with this pillar across the other side here. Okay, should be directly in line here. So five block gap here. Then on this side here, we're going to go a block on the corner, a five block gap, and then one right here, which should be in line with this pillar here. Again, with a five block gap across the front here. Okay. Now, on top of all of these little sticking out logs, we're going to go ahead and make a pillar that is five blocks high. Okay. So one, two, three, four, and five. And we're going to do that on all of the pillars that are sticking out. Okay. Okay, right, once you've got that done, guys, just come into this little indented corner here and just go ahead and place five blocks on top of this like that. All right, guys, now that that's all in place, we're going to start putting in some little platforms in here that we're going to build our walls on, okay? So we're going to start with our spruce stairs, and we're going to start by going a stair on that one, a stair on that one, and then we're going to leave a gap, place one there and one there. And then in these three gaps here is going to be a slab. Over to this one here, we're going to do something very similar. So a stair underneath. This is the spruce stair. A stair in the center and then two slabs at each side, one at each side. Again, same here. So one here, one here, one in the center and then a slab at each side. This side here is going to be the same as the five gaps. So one underneath each of the pillars. And then a one block gap between each of those. And then just place a slab in between them like this. Round the back, again, back to the three gap. So a stair, a stair, and an upside down stair there. And then one in between the two gaps. This corner here, the same again. One on these two, and then one and one there. And then a slab between all of them. And then finally, this one here, we're going to go a stair and a stair upside down stairs rather two like this and then fill the gaps in with the slabs okay right we're ready to get our walls in so let's go ahead and just put the bottom layer in first so we're going to start from the very front here where we've been working from so we're going to go around this edge so we're going to go all in here like this uh, this side here is going to be a bit different. We're going to have some pillars in here. So we're going to leave that for the moment. We're going to fill this gap here with the oak. This is the stripped oak wood, guys, just in case I didn't say that. Then fill this gap here. This gap here is going to be some pillars, so we'll come back to that in a moment. We're going to go ahead and actually we're going to put in the stripped birch in this gap here. We're going to put the stripped oak down this one here. Between this window and this window here is going to be the stripped birch. Then behind there in the center on that back pillar, we're going to just place one stripped oak like that. And then from this pillar to this pillar, we're going to join this up with stripped oak wood. And then one just in that gap there. Okay. Now all of this, as you can see, guys, I'm just going to go around it so you guys can kind of see where we've kind of filled in. Right, so now what we want to do is we want to raise all of these in their corresponding colors as well. Okay, so the birch one here, we want to fill with a strip birch all the way 
to the top of this pillar here, which should be four more blocks on top. One, two, three, four. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and fill all of these up to the top, just like this. All right. And then with the oak ones, you're going to do the same, but just with the oak, bring it to the top like that. Okay. So we're going to go around, guys, and do all of this, get all of these all in place, and then I'll catch you guys once you're done. All right, guys, once you're done, we're going to go around to the empty gap, which is starting with this one here, okay? And then from the log here, we're going to place one, a, another lo uh, oak log on this gap. So there's a one block gap between it, a one block gap, and a one block gap. And then we're just going to raise those to five blocks high like this. Okay, then we're going to go around to the back here, and we're going to do, I think, the same here. So what we're going to do... This pillar will start right there, okay? So we'll leave one block gap between them. So we should have something like that on that side, the same on this side, and then like so down here. All right, that's looking pretty good, guys. I think that is most of what we need in place for the moment. All right, guys, now that's all in place, let's go ahead and just get a flooring in for the next level. So what we're going to do, let's grab our oak log first of all. And the oak log in the corner, you just want to break it and then just replace it with another oak log facing in any direction. It doesn't matter whether it's that way or that way um, or that way. It really doesn't matter. Just so that you can't see that white face of it on the top. Okay, so just go ahead and do that on any of them ones in a corner and I think that is all of them covered up now right now they're all covered up just get yourself some spruce planks and the floor level is going to be about here so we're going to just go ahead and fill all of this in with some spruce planks for now um, I'm not going to be doing the interior for this today so when we come back to this we'll finish up the interior but for now I'm just going to put in another floor just so you guys can see it and what you probably want to do is go ahead and get yourself some torches and make sure that you light up both of these floors with your torches. Otherwise, you're going to get a load of mobs spawning here and uh, that, won't be, that won't be too good, especially in survival. Alright guys, once your flooring is all in place, we're going to start working on the roof. So, we're going to start with the main front of the build here, again, exactly where we um, where we started in the first place. So, we're going to start from here, and we're going to bring, on this corner here, we're going to place a stair, and we're going to overlap the edge by one, okay, so we're sticking out by one. And then we're just going to join these ones all the way down, like so, to this little pillar just here, okay? Now, we're going to go upside down, upside down stair. Then we're going to go block, stair, upside down stair, block, stair, upside down stair, block, and a stair. And that should be about the center. The next block should be the center of the build. So now we're going to do the same on this side. So from this little corner here, we're going to put a stair. Actually, we're going to go a full planks block and planks block. Again, this is the spruce wood, guys, just in case you're wondering. Then we're going to go stairs across like this. Overlap that edge by one. Place an upside down stair. And then you want full block, upside down, uh, normal stair, upside down stair. Full block, stair, upside down stair. And just repeat that until you get to the center, which is just there. Place an upside down stair in the center. A normal stair on top and an upside down one sticking out like that now onto this little one here so what we're going to do here is we're going to place an upside down stair against that full block place an upside down stair on this log sticking out like this and we're going to put a stair facing towards us a normal stair just like that there and then behind that i think we're just going to place an upside down stair like that 
Now, again, go full block on top of these with a, a stair, upside down stair behind it, like that. And then full block on top, stair on top, and an upside down stair. Normal stair in the center with an upside down facing outwards like that. And then we're gonna repeat the same over here. So upside down stair on that pillow, pillar and that one there. Here, we can actually just go two normal stairs and then one twisting around a corner like that, okay? And then back to the same pattern. So a full block on top with a stair on top, upside down stair, full block, stair upside down stair in the center normal stair sticking out and an upside down one facing out okay now make sure here guys just make sure that this one is a normal stair here because otherwise if you face it one way or the other it's going to look a bit funny okay so make sure it's facing towards the front and that way it kind of just joins the roofs together nicely now over this side here we're going to continue with an upside down stair Going to do a stair here and a stair here, right on the top of that pillar. Place an upside down one facing that way. And make sure we've got another one facing that way. So you should kind of wrap around that little corner. Then the same pattern as before, guys. So it'd be stair, uh, full block, stair. Then an upside down stair. And just repeat that until we get to the center. So full block, stair. Upside down stair, full block, stair, stair, upside down one in the middle, normal one facing out, and an upside down one just there. Okay, this side here, again, we're going to come to the other side of this pillar here, place two just like that, upside down one on that pillar, and an upside down one on that pillar. Then back to the same pattern, so it'd be a block, stair, upside down stair, block, stair, upside down stair in the center, normal one on top, upside down one sticking out. Right, now down this side here, I think... Yeah, from here, we're going to go from this corner here to here, okay? So just run these across like this, okay? Making sure you go in to that little edge and bring them round. And then on that corner there, face one out with an upside down one. Over to this corner, place two like that, one to that side with an upside down one there. And again, here, we're going to continue the pattern. So stair, uh, uh Sorry, guys. Block. Stair. Upside down stair, okay? And we're just going to keep repeating that pattern until we get to the center. Upside down stair in the center. Normal stair on top. Upside down one sticking out. All right, guys, and for the last roof here, we're going to go over to this corner here where the stair is. Place one facing that way. Upside down stair, upside down stair. And guess what, guys? We're going to do the same pattern again. We're going to go a block and then stair. Upside down stair. Block. Stair. Upside down stair. Block, stair, stair, and then upside down one in the middle, normal one sticking out, and upside down at the front. Okay, right, that's looking pretty good. Now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get our stripped oak wood, and we're going to just fill in some of the peaks of the roof, okay? So starting at the front here, from this one here, what we want to do is make sure we stay within the area here and not end up to the roof. So what we can do is go one row across like this, which is five blocks. Another row of five blocks. A row of three blocks. 
And as you can see, we've still got a stair here. So we want to still cover up that little half a block gap. So we're going to go across like that. And then one in the center like that. And that will be perfectly fine. If you wanted, you could place one just there. Or we could do, use a planks block later on. So to save on resources, I'll use the planks a little bit later on. Now do the same for these other windows here again. So we're going to cover up the bottom bit of the gap with five blocks. Five blocks above. Then three. Then three. Then one. Okay. Five blocks. Five blocks. Three blocks. Three blocks. One block. And we're going to do that only for the five block gap windows. Okay. So five. 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 Three, three, and one. Making sure you bring it up like a triangle shape. Now, for the little windows, we're going to be using the stripped birch. We're going to go three, three, and one. Three, three, one. This one here, three, three, and one. Okay, and that's all of the peaks all filled in. So that's pretty good. Right, all is looking pretty good now. So next step is going to be getting in the actual roof itself. So we're going to go ahead and get ourselves some oak log, uh, oak planks and stuff like that to fill the roof in. But like I said before, guys, if you have a different block you want to fill the roof in, then go ahead and grab those. Um, you can literally fill the roof in with any block that you have stairs and blocks for. It really doesn't matter. So go ahead and grab that. I'm going to grab some bits myself and I'll be back in just a second once we're ready. All right, guys, I think we are ready to continue now. So we're going to start from, again, from the same corner. So from this roof here, we're going to start from this bottom corner. So we're going to start with our oak planks or any any block that you plan on doing for the roof. And because the bottom one here is a block, we're just going to run blocks all the way across the top here and join it to this corner roof here, okay? So come down and join that roof there. Then we're going to go up to the next block, bring it all the way down. Then this one, the full block on the same level and just join them up like that, which should be one step back. OK, one block back. Same again here. Bring it to the corner of that. Then just bring it all the way down. And join it up. It's easy as that. Now here it's going to change because we're only going to be going up by one block to do the center. So we're going to go all the way across to here. Go past that one by one block and then just join up to there. Now from here, we're just going to run this one all the way down to this side. And that will join up to the center of this peak. And then this one will join up to the center here. OK, so you should have a big X or cross shape in the center. OK, now we're going to come down to this side of the roof. So we've just done that part there. We're going to go around to this side here. And this side will be very slightly different. So from the block at the bottom, we're going to run planks all the way down until we get onto the top of this pillar. Then we're going to turn by one and then join into this. The idea is we want to bring that roof back a little bit so we can see it's a roof rather than bringing it straight across here. OK, so make sure you do that. Then we're going to go up one and we're going to bring that back by one extra block like that. Past here by one extra block and then bring it round and join it up. Just like so. And then this one here, bring it all the way down right to the corner here, to that corner. And then we're going to run this one all the way down here. Join it up with the roof at the side here. So we're now all the way down that side. In here, we're going to join this roof over here. Now, it won't join to that pillar. It will be one below. But don't worry about that. That's supposed to be like that. Then down in the gap here, this is between the two birch windows okay we're going to put one there one there and then just put three across here joining them together like that then go one two and three come down and then just join it up to there like that okay hopefully you guys are seeing the pattern here for the roof it's quite simple and i'm sure you guys already know how to do these kind of roofs so we're going to do a little v in that corner same again here and join them up Okay, and now we're at the height of this one. And then fi finally, for this side, we just want to go one, two, and three. Again, that'll be one block below, okay? 
Now, for the back of the uh, roofs here, we're just going to do the same again here. So in this corner here, we're just going to join it out with a little V. Okay. And then just continue the pattern. So we're going to make it a little bit bigger by one. Like that and join it. One, two, three, and four. And actually, this one is going to run all the way to the back. Okay, so run under that pillar all the way across and join up to that side. Then here we're going to go one, two, and three. Again, it'll be in line with that one. And we're just going to run this all the way down here. Until we get in line with this block here. And then join it up like that. Okay, I hope this is making sense for you guys. If I'm going a little bit too fast or a little bit you're not quite getting what I'm doing, just be sure to let me know in the comments and I'll see if I can help you out. Now put three across there and join it straight up to that main pillar at the back. And that's actually a taller roof. And then here, one, two, and three. Okay. So that's the taller roof. That's a smaller roof. That one will join into the gap. This one will join straight across into this pillar. And then at the bottom here, we're going to go one there and then one there. And then just bring it all the way down and just join it up to here. This side here. Same again, put the four blocks just in like that. And then one, two, three, one and two. And then this one can just come all the way across and join into that pillar there. And then finally, we're going to get our oak stairs and we're going to just place them on top of all of the pillars that we, all the pillars, all of the um, planks that we've just placed, right? Wrapping them around the corners like this. Okay, so probably best to like start on one side and just move around a bit by bit. This is probably going to take a while for you guys to get in because this, uh, especially if you're in survival, it does take its time. So go around, run them all the way across the tops of the planks. Now, just make sure, guys, that wherever you get your corners, you go that and you turn and you place them the other way so that you get a little cornered stair like this. I'm sure most of you guys already know that, but just in case you don't, make sure you get them to wrap around the corners. So make sure you turn. And we're just going to go in, guys, and we're going to just fill all of the rest of this roof all in place like this. Okay. So just go around and do the same on this side, all across the tops of these, wrapping it around right across that bit there. Wrapping it around these kind of C shapes here. And then also wrap it around that shape there as well, okay? So we're going to go ahead and get all of those in quickly. All right, guys, and once you're done, you should have something that looks a bit like this, okay? So it should look pretty nice and all blend in fairly well together. Now, before we get the, uh, put our stairs down, there's just a last two that we need to put in place, and that is just put one facing us just here, right where we got the two birch windows, and one right in there. And I think that is all of the stairs all in place for the roof now. Now, go ahead and grab your spruce slab. And on the tops of these little peaks here, we're going to do three like this, right in the center, on top of the on top of the oak planks. Okay. At the very top here, we're going to run slabs all the way across to the very back. At the side, we're going to cross this as well, right across the planks, like so. This little peak here, we're going to put three in front of. And I think that is all of them. That is, that is all of them. All right, guys, now that the roof's all in place, let's start by adding in a few windows and a bit of decoration. So we're going to start with the front here again, guys, and we're going to go in the center, and we're going to go one, two, three, like this. Break these two in the center, and then on the bottom half there, we're going to place another three slabs. So on this bottom block, it's the top half of the block, the slabs are on, and at the top here is the bottom half. Okay. Place two full blocks like this in the center, and then two glass panes like that next to it. Now, we're going to go up from the center block here. We're going to go up by one, 
And let's just place a temporary block just there for a second. We're going to place an upside down stair that way. And an upside down stair that way there. And then break that center block there. Because we're going to put dirt there with a actually a trap door in the center. So let's just put that block back there again. And we can put the trap door on. But we'll break that behind there. Because we're going to put dirt there in just a moment. Now we're going to go one and two. One and two on top of the stairs. Break these two in the middle. Then we're going to play break this one here. And place a upside down stair like that. With a slab on the top half. And then a slab on top of both of these fences like that. Okay. And then in the middle here just go ahead and put your window in place. And we're going to put some dirt with a flower on in here. In just a minute. But for now let's go around and do the rest of our windows and everything else. So down this side here. We're going to start by placing a normal stair in these three gaps. At the very top here, we're going to place in a full uh, spruce planks like this. Okay, just like so. And we can go one, two, three. We're going to actually place a upside down stair on the next one like this. And then we can go ahead and go window, window and a window. Right, onto this one here. Now this window is going to be slightly higher. So rather than on being on the first block, we're going to go up by one block. And on that second half, those three in the center, we're going to uh, place a slab there. Then break one, two, and three. And we're also going to break these ones at the side. So we've got a three by three window. We're going to put some slabs across the bottom half of the top here. And we're going to put some... Glass panes on that edge, glass panes on that edge, and then we're going to place some against here so that this looks like an open window. Okay, just like that. And then if you want to, go ahead and go up to this block here, and you can put in a little window like so. And I think that's pretty good. We're probably going to put in a few leaves around here, so what I would do is probably on the top half of that slab, go ahead and just put some trap doors like that. Okay, this is the spruce trap door. Just run them across, five of them. And we'll come back to that in just a moment. But for now, we're going to put a slab on the sticking out logs like this on the top half. And also on the top half in this corner. And then just pile up your uh, fences in that corner. And you should have four of them. Same here. Make sure you've got them all the way up to the top. Looking good. Now this side here, we're going to have another window and this one's going to be a one lower. So this is going to be on the bottom block. Place three slabs on the top half of that. And then we're going to go, what do we do on this side? Let me think for a second. Uh, this was a big window, I think. This was a three high, a three high window. So yeah, break one, two, three. Then put slabs across like this. And then I think it was one, two, three, one, two, three, like that. Then we're going to put some stained glass here, do another open window. So three and three. Then place them against that edge. And you should get a nice open window like that. And again, we're going to come up here and just put one little window just in there. Okay, that's looking good. Right, we're going to grab ourselves a spruce slab, place one there. We already have one on this corner, so we're going to match that up on this corner. And then place one on the top half of this corner here and put our fences all the way to the top. Okay, should be four of them. Just like that. Place stairs in these gaps. Full block at the top like this. And then an upside down stair next to it. And one, two windows like this. And that's looking pretty good. All right, this window is going to be a little bit different. So we're going to go on the bottom half here, on the top half, place three slabs. We're going to go for... Uh, let's go for a two high window. I think. Yeah, let's do a two high window here. And I think we'll put some slabs across the top. Let's put some fences like this. And then we'll break that one up there. And we'll put a little window in there. 
yeah and i think that looks pretty good and then we're just going to put windows in there and we're going to come back and put a flower there in just a moment but i think overall that looks pretty nice really liking the way this is shaping up now guys now put a slab in this corner on the top half where that log is and also there and again guys go ahead and put your spruce fences you could also use oak fences or another fence if you want it to stand out a little bit more um, but it's entirely up to you guys right on this end we're gonna come up by two blocks again so we're gonna do exactly the same as what we've done on the other end okay so we're gonna go up to here like this leaving a gap at the bottom here and here will be some trap doors on the top half of these slabs and stairs so that we can put some bushes across here maybe now this window isn't going to be the same as the other side it's going to be a bay window so we're going to go one two three place a slab there and then one at each side place some glass panes like this and then full glass blocks in the center like that and then a little window i think about about there oops with the glass pane and you can probably actually get a bigger window there yeah that looks good and as you think this window here is actually going to be a double window as well let's do a two window and you know what sorry guys even this one here let's go two and again guys let's just go two i think it just looks a bit better actually a nice big big window there right that's looking good so we've got pretty much most of our windows in now we're all done for this side right in here we're going to go for some little windows so on the bottom block of the birch strip wood we're going to go three break these two and then on the bottom half there some slabs slabs again here break these two slabs on the bottom half now these slabs guys always remember that the birch or oak log is normally at the bottom on the top half of the bottom block but when you get to some of the windows, which is only this one on this side, it's on the second block up, and the one all the way around on this side here, it's on the second block up, okay? Just for a change, that's all it's for, it's just for a little bit of a change. Now, back to these windows, we're going to put two full blocks in the center like this, and then some glass panes at each side to make a nice little bay window. Then go one and two, place in some windows, one and two, place in some windows then place a temporary block like that two of them on front of these windows just like this then get your trap door and place two on this side so one and two and then break that block so it looks like a shutter then this side you want it the opposite side okay so that they open the opposite way from each other i just think it just looks really nice like that then finally down here on the top half of this of this log we're going to place some trap doors so one two three four five six we're going to place six trap doors and let's quickly grab ourselves some dirt did i get any dirt no we'll just get some grass then for now let's get some grass and across this we're going to go one two three four five and six and then go ahead Put your trap doors in front of all of these and then close them down. We're going to get some flowers in there in a minute. And then from this side here, we're going to come up by one block and go one, one, two, three. And we could get four in there, okay? A nice little window that comes all the way across like that. All right, and that's looking pretty good. So now we need to get ourselves a grass block in the top here, okay? Alright guys, it's shaping up pretty nicely now. So what we're going to quickly do is add in some flowers. So let's go something just simple. Maybe something like that. And then around there, let's go ahead and put a little... Um, what is this one called? A allium. Okay, so just put a couple of flowers just like that. Just to add a little bit of colour and a little bit of variety to this. And we're going to go to the balcony around the back here. And right where this window is here we're going to come to the center hmm should we go to the center of it yeah we're gonna go over here and we're gonna break one and two like that just for some doors and we'll go ahead and we'll put some upside down stone stairs there let's get some stone stairs so 
So let's break that one, put some upside down stairs there. Around the front here. We've already got our stone stairs there. So let's grab ourselves some spruce stores. And we're just going to go one and two. Just like, actually, no, let's break those. We'll do that from the inside. So it's two doors like that. And then two doors like that. Okay, and that's looking pretty good. Right, now, we want to kind of make this look a little bit natural. But before we actually start getting in that, let's actually also get ourselves some spruce buttons. Because we're going to need some of those. And the spruce buttons are just going to go on the tips of these logs, okay? Just on the little sticking out bits. Do it all the way around. Alright guys, things are really shaping up now and this build is really starting to look really nice. So at, the, at this point guys, it's like adding some final details really. So one thing I like to do is where the door is over here, I like to put some cool stuff right down this edge here. Okay, all the way down that edge. And then we're going to put some polish and a sight in these four blocks here, running all the way down to the door. So from this corner here, all the way to the door. Once you get to there, guys, now, if you want, you could just leave it there with this. But what I'm going to do is go one, two, three, and probably four blocks, I think. And then we're just going to bring this all the way over to the stairway. And then just fill all of this grass in here and replace it all with polished andesite. Okay, something a bit like that. Then we're just going to grab ourselves our stone slab or a block that kind of matches up with the polished andesite. Okay, something that looks nice. And we're going to... Hmm, now I was going to do it from there, but we might have to change it. So we might have to just put a couple in there and then come to here so that we can still get into our second doorway. On the last build, I actually think I placed it... Um, I placed two doors here. Okay. So it's entirely up to you guys. What you could do if you wanted is get rid of this door here. Place some stone like this. And you could put this little bit like that. So it would look a little bit more kind of how you would expect it to be. And then run it all the way down to about there. Put your cool stir in down here. Make sure you've got all of that. And we're going to make a little flower pot here. So once we get to the corner here, we're one block overlapping. I think we're going to go two one and then come across like this and i think we'll go there and then two and then one okay so from this corner here it's one two one three across this way one two down and then all the way down there okay now what we can do first of all is get some oak leaves and we just want to kind of make them look like they're growing out of the ground a little bit here so go ahead actually make sure all of this is um all cool dirt so let's replace all of this with some cool dirt okay something kind of like that sometimes because of the connected textures it's just better to replace some underneath these something like that okay that looks pretty good although it does look off because of that edge let's see if we can actually neaten that up because that doesn't look right because of the edge over there so Let's um, see. What have we done that? Would that look better? That looks better. So I think better to go three, one, four, one, two, and then bring it all the way down that edge. Yeah, that looks better. Uh, just otherwise, that's going to bother, bother me being a little bit off. Let's go ahead. Let's replace this here. So now what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to just say go one, two, three, four up to that corner. Place one there. One diagonally. Diagonally there. One up there. Uh, and then let's go one there, one there. And then kind of bring these up across here. And then I think... Oops. Let's go ahead and crouch so we can place one there. And then something kind of... Like that. I think I might break that button there and bring it over here. 
Just like that, so it looks like it's kind of climbing across the house. I tend to find that with leaves, you don't want to put more than two or three in a row. Otherwise, they look they just look like they're too organized. Okay, break that one there, actually, because that'll look better swooping round. Yeah, unless you're actually dangling them down from a roof or something, or putting them behind a plant pot like this, then I would tend to stick to two to three at the most um, piled together. But something like that should look pretty nice. And then I just want it to look like it climbs up to the roof a little bit. So I think what we might do is actually break these two as well. Break that button. Put one there. And then we can kind of go something like that. And then up to here a little bit. And then maybe just pop one like that. Just so it kind of looks like it's kind of scattered over there. Um, we could put one just there and then dangle a little bit down here. Something kind of like that. It hasn't got to be perfect, guys. Just make it look like it's it's grown up the roof a little bit. You know, just plot some in and kind of make them here and there. Just make them dangle a little bit. There we go. And I think that'd be enough for that side of the house. I might put one more on the other corner. So that's that corner. So that looks pretty good. Let's grab ourselves a flower pot while we're here. And we're going to come round to the open windows. Let's just put a flower pot in the center. And then put a little flower in these. So we can put a yellow one there and maybe the white one just there. That looks good. Uh, we can put one on this window here. Maybe a different flower. I think flowers really just bring a little bit of life, a little bit of color to builds. And they just bring a lot of features out in your builds. Now down here, guys, just continue a little, I don't know, just a few little bushes here and there. Something kind of like that. I think that will probably do. You can even break that there. Just do that. And then go ahead, stick in some rose bushes, some tall grass, a few white flowers. Something kind of like that. Break it up a little bit. And then same again in here, guys. Just go ahead and just add in a few few more bushes something kind of like that and we can put some rose bushes in here like this a bit of tall grass some white flowers maybe some alliums I think that looks pretty good Okay, guys, I think that is looking pretty good. Let's just come around this side here. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do something, again, similar to what we've had around here. Let's see if we can just get into here, get some cool stuff. So here we try and just hide it a little bit. So we're going to just put some cool stuff in here like that. Uh, maybe even one there and one there. Just so it looks like it's a little bit dirty there. And that'll be where some maybe some roots might have just grown through like this and let's go something like that bring it up like it's growing onto this corner okay something yeah something like this and then up onto the roof um don't want it to look too much like it's right next to each other there we go Something maybe like that. And then we'll also drag it around here. Put a few in here. Let's hang one off the edge of that. And then maybe go ahead, break that one again and do something like that. I think that looks pretty good, actually. I'm pretty happy with that. Maybe put one more in here. Um, hmm, without it looking too... Yeah, that's better. I like that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I like that. And if you wanted, one thing you could always do is get your trap doors and where you don't have them there, just place one against the wall like that. Just to kind of fill the gap. And we can do the same around here if we've got a gap here. All right, guys. One last thing that I do like to do with my builds, which I do keep forgetting to mention, is I like to hang the end rods, which are actually lanterns. So I like to hang them just on these corners. 
Now, if you don't have a lantern texture in your current texture pack um, and you ain't using my texture pack, then one, you can go ahead and download my texture pack. It will be in the description. Or two, if you could, you could use the new snapshots, which now have lanterns in them. So you can go ahead and use lanterns in the actual new, the actual new snapshot texture packs uh, because they have added lanterns to the game now. So go ahead and use those if you don't. Otherwise, 1.4 in is around the corner, guys. It won't be long for the full release, and you'll be able to use them then anyway. And what we're going to do is just make a couple of little signs. So let's go ahead and place a fence gate like that. Now, make sure you stand at the side so that it faces outwards, okay? Then you need to crouch and place a fence on the end. Place a couple of iron bars on the end of that, like that. And then place your full wood block on a tip like this and then just surround this with some item frames like that and in that item frame what we can actually do is we're going to actually place a plain book okay and that way this can be resembled as a library but if you're making this into something else put an item in there that's going to resemble what this build is going to be i'm just going to do the same here so we're going to put the gate then the Fence, iron bar, iron bar, full block. Oh, that's actually a bit low there. Let's go ahead and put that up a little bit, I think. Let's raise it up. We'll bring it up to about, it's going to be a little bit awkward getting it here, but I should be able to just about get it in there. Bring that down. And then we'll go ahead and put out oops our fence let's break that one there we go iron bar iron bar bark block and then we can put our signs just there with our book inside them excellent there we go and we've got our little sign there and there you could move this sign if you want guys uh put it somewhere that's a little bit more better or if you have another sign idea then go ahead and implement that but I think that just about does it for today's build, guys. So, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, then please consider subscribing. Just don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. But for now, this is Blue Nerd signing out. And I will catch you guys in the next one.